<laughs> okay, so Guillermo and Roberto, at 2000, we had those fears of Y2K, which now Y2K, K. Y2K, EK. <laughs> Y2K, for K. Y2K is every day, like Mexican stalls when we were writing a kind of uh, piece for NPR. I went to Mexico City asking all the Mexicanos, what does Y2K mean for you? And they were telling me, Y2K is every day. <laughs> yes. Notions of apocalypse vary from country to country. Because yeah, we're, so, we're so boring, you know, English is so boring because now you're in the last, in the last few days, you probably noticed people are trying to come up with it, how to call the decade, the last decade. Oh, yes? Yeah, and they keep it. saying, well, all I know is that they kept arriving at the word the aughts, A U G H T S, which mm -hmm. I guess in, you know, Walt, um, Sapphire's dead, you know, he used to do this stuff for the times where he'd, he'd decode the meaning of something. But then whoever's been trying to replace him says, well, the aughts means nothing. Right. And so how can you describe the decade past as nothing? Especially this past decade yes. as nothing. So I wanted to ask you if you would give a crack at a description or your... Of the last decade? <laughs> the lost decade, which people have been calling it also, the, the lost decade. decade. Mm. The decade of fear? I mean, I've been around with this planet for five decades, and I have never experienced so much fear. So much all-encompassing fear. Fear in all shapes and colors. The fear of being put in an off-line list, the fear of my props and costumes being confiscated in every border checkpoint, the fear of the FBI and Homeland Security knocking at my door for criticizing the government through my art. The fear of your hard drive crashing. <laughs> the fear of my hard drive crashing. <laughs> no, it was a decade of fear. I have never experienced so many fears. And I'm glad it's over. Mm. Me too. La década del pánico. Panic decade. Shao. And what about you, Loco? How would you describe from 2000 to 2008, 2009? How would you describe that period of life? My 30s. <laughs> no, baby. No, yes, uh, no, I, I completely agree, yes, it's been a, it's been a, I think it's the, it's been a period of redefinition through technology. Yeah. You know, and that's really what that means, what that past decade is. I agree with you. You know, a way of, mm -hmm. that the youth has found a way to redefine themselves and yeah. their social selves and their politicized selves mm -hmm. and and have found a, a methodology towards empowerment through new technologies, and I applaud that. Mm. And I would add also the fact that it was an paradoxically, while the West was experiencing this culture of panic, Latin America was emancipating. Mm -hmm. And there was a new Latin American left emerging you know, precisely in contestation to Bush's Patriot Act and to Bush's Middle Eastern policies, you know, eight or nine Latin American countries developed a new Pan-Latin American Union and decided that they could live without the U.S. And that was an extremely healthy historical moment for Latin America, which happened precisely at the time when we were all looking for Bin Laden in the caves of Afghanistan. You know. <laughs>